sometimes babies are born, they have frothing from the mouth, and they don't seem to be doing well. And sometimes they do a study and they find there's a connection between the breathing tube and the feeding area called the TE fistula. Uh, can you discuss that in a general sense? Tracheoesophageal fistulae are associated with a disease called esophageal atresia. The esophagus is the tube which passes from the mouth to the stomach and carries all the food that the baby eats. It should be separate from the breathing tube, the trachea. These two tubes, it's felt, form from the same original single tube. In the process of dividing into two tubes, an error occurs, resulting in a blind ending esophagus such that the mouth passes down into the chest, into the esophagus, which then ends blindly. The lower part of the esophagus attaches itself to the trachea and passes down to the stomach. It's a dangerous situation because when the baby tries to eat, the food has no place to go, and thus the baby, if they don't vomit the food, aspirates it into their lungs. The other problem is that if the baby needs to vomit, the vomitus passes not out the mouth, but up the esophagus and into the lungs. But these can be corrected, usually. This is, can definitely be corrected. This is actually, the, the, the anatomy I just described is only one form of esophageal atresia. All variants of esophageal atresia can be uh, repaired. And uh, most importantly, this anomaly is typically associated with children who are neurologically normal. Um, it is also associated with several other congenital anomalies which we look for, including uh, disorders of the heart. Uh, so when, when the error is typed in by the code, it sometimes affects more than one area. Yes.